serious? Hey guys, love here and today in gaming EA confirms some big Battlefield early access news. Now that Game Pass is bundled with EA's subscription, way more players can get access at no additional cost. As for when you can start preloading 2042 and how much space you'll need for the game, PlayStation 5 users can start downloading the early access release on the 10th and they'll need around 50 gigabytes of free space. At launch, including early access, everything Battlefield 2042 offers will be available. That means Portal, all Out Warfare and Hazard Zone will be live all at the same time. Now coming around to some EA related news, the publisher says that NFTs are an important part of the gaming industry's future. This echoes similar support of the emerging blockchain gaming tech scene from Ubisoft. They recently invested massively into a blockchain game company. EA is taking a more cautious approach and says it's too early to figure out how it'll all work, but you can expect future EA titles to offer play-to-earn mechanics that potentially reward you with NFTs or other blockchain-related items. Yeah, I need to download. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I'm still six in the queue. Yeah, I'm seven. We need to, we need a game of Geogaster, don't we? Something to go That's why I'm watching dash cam videos. Oh. Is that Greek? I'm gonna go down here somewhere. Oh, ooh. 119 miles away. I feel like it's Hong Kong, this. I'm gonna say it's Hong Kong. <sighs> 1.7 miles away, bruh. <laughs> 21,378, dude, I will take that. First go. I was sixth in queue. I'm fifth now. It's taking a while today. What position are we in? Five. Bloody hell. Daisy's popular. I'm fifth in the queue. It's taking ages. We it's need to get the streamer thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. break a leap. Is this the game that is going to save gaming? It is, I've already said it. Copenfield Field 2042 will save gaming. First data drive is secure. Data drive. Oh, there's resin. What? Oh, have you seen that wingsuit flying oh, thing? I know, I don't know what I about. <laughs> it's going to be so difficult to shoot people. I hate that sort of stuff in games. Yeah, it's because people absolutely zoom when they deploy them and you can't shoot them. Wingsuit's one of the specialists. Oh, uh, okay. This map looks really barren. There's not a lot of cover, right? Oh, yeah, there's a map similar in... It's like, the, it's like the moon. Is it BF4? The ones where you're getting those, like, things that shoot up in the air. You know what I mean? Uh, planes? No, there's, like, those containers that you can, like, blast yourself up into the sky. Tanks in Hazard Zone as well. Oh my, oh my god. Heck by Tarkov, you're screwed. Oh my god. You, I thought you liked vehicles. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was going to be a shooter only game type for some reason, but I was sitting yeah. next thing. Yeah. Not like this. Actually, well, you see the extraction, it's like the cycle. Not like this. It's not really a tank, is it? It's like a jeep with a gun on it. Yeah. But it is actually destroying everything that it comes across. <laughs> oh my god.
Alright, it's kind of like the cycle. Anyone buying this? With the head I eating? Know. Or whatever it is. Yeah. The cycle Frontier. That's it. I'm ready for round two. Please no stupid dance team marks. <laughs> Doesn't look like Daisy. We are... Play like any old BF game. Second in the queue. Mix the like time zones. Been in the queue for 25 minutes. Don't know if in that interportal stuff. Depends what game modes people make. Tank footage is the worst thing to watch. What's that? Tank footage is the worst to watch. It's the worst to play. It's actual resident sleeper. This I cannot believe how little hazard zone footage there is. That was it then. Oh just, no, yeah. Just one map. Well, I didn't skip through it. There's more, but just nothing got revealed about it, and it releases tomorrow. Yeah. I think they're doing the hype. Yeah, but there's no hype if there's no footage. <laughs> the lack of hyping around Hazard Zone makes you think they're already quite... Yeah. It's like suspect. Almost. Why is Hazard Zone? It's like Tarkov. It's like a Tarkov, the cycle mode in Battlefield. I wanted to see Hazard Zone stuff. I really do hope that they've fleshed Hazard Zone out a little bit more. Also, I think they should definitely reconsider using vehicles, but maybe it's like a perk that you unlock or something. I, I don't know. The server's going to go down, right? Before I get in. I'm still second in queue. Need more info on Hazard Zone. I never won the queue. That must mean you're in, right? Um. No. Positioning two. No. <laughs> How have you overtaken me? <laughs> Are you serious? You're position yeah. number one? Yep. Yeah. I was one behind you the whole time. I know. What the fuck? <laughs> Hi guys, this is Pestilian. Welcome to a Battlefield. Breakdown of how the game works. So straight up, before the game even starts, you join a squad of four players. If you don't have a squad of four players, it will auto fill you up to four players when you go in. Once you have your squad and you've loaded into the game, you'll get your opportunity to pick your loadout and which specialist you want to use. And you can spend your points on how you want to have your loadout. Deploy into the map and then I still you'll be think able to be start the game. Great, As you spawn in, it will show you a map of where all the data drives are on Actually, the map at the me. very start. Some will spawn in later on, um, but initially there will be fixed locations and you will see the threat of each area and how difficult it is with the AI around. So if you players. are confident that the majority of the squads have been mm. killed off, you can pretty freely that's... move around the map. However, from my experience, that's not that easy. Generally, there's still Terrible. be always one or two squads left around to uh, try and fight zone. you as you head towards the extract. Is it? Each player can hold on to yeah. three data drives. So if you have four players, you'll be able to hold on to a maximum of eight data drives. And then you'll obviously get more points if you extract with them later on. You can call in vehicles to assist you. It has like a Gatling gun on the roof that just absolutely destroys. And it's pretty much the most effective way of being able to move around the map and also being able to destroy people as you go around. Ammunition is kind of no, hard no, no. To, to maintain. The AI will come from everywhere and they'll be just swarming you from every direction. It's a little bit overwhelming. I don't really like it. It does. It kind of detracts from the PVP because the first time we got to the extract, there was so much AI that we, we weren't sure what was time. going on and we missed it. Very overwhelming. I don't really like it. In time. <laughs> uh, the second time, there was so many AI between us and the, and the plane and there was another squad camping the actual plane where it was going to land. We just couldn't get to it. It was just so overwhelming. And then on our third attempt, we actually got there and extracted. I'm in. So in saying that, if you get the opportunity to go to the first extract, I would highly recommend if you have the data drives or a few already, just take it. it you get the bonuses from extracting and you get extra bonuses from the multiple in a row. Mm. So I would just recommend taking the first one if I was going to do it because the extra benefits from risking it all for the biscuit for the second one also might be fun to do sometimes, I think, or maybe on your first, like survive, go for that one. But if you're on a, a bit of a streak, it gets really overwhelming top like it's it's there's so many things going on when it's the final extract it's almost mm. luck there's not overly large amount of skill involved it's luck because you don't know where it lands until there's about three to four minutes left and if you're a little bit away from it on the map like there's already gonna be a squad closer and it's just too chaotic to try and get in there you it's coming down to luck is how well the other team is how good their position is 
and how well you can push in to get onto that ship. After you get out of the match, you'll be awarded with points based on how many AI kills you get, player kills you get, and how many data drives you extract with. There are some extra little bonus points. I didn't really take too many notes on what they give. But once you have all those points, you can spend them on bolstering your loadouts, getting better like loadout setups and how you want to go into the next game. And that will make it a lot easier for you to be more successful in your next game. Overall, I think it's a fun but extremely punishing game. It's the easiest way to keep your squad up uh, due to the time to kill is literally have one person sit back while the other three push forward. And if your three guys get knocked out and killed, then uh, you're, you've got that one guy at the back who can bug out, pull in your squad back in, and then go again. It has a lot of similar similarities to Hunt Showdown, though, in the loadout aspect, which is quite fun. I do like the idea that it rolls onto it, but I don't see it being the, like enough of a driving factor to me to want to play this game a lot. There's no end goal objective for me from it, so I just don't see yeah. how what would be the driving factor from playing it after, say, a few days of messing about. Pestley just said that he's not going to play it uh, very much, and he he'll probably go back to the other one of the one of the other modes because there's no end goal and it's a bit it's not very rewarding. <laughs> I tuned out like ten minutes in. Gaming is not saved. Pestley's just no, confirmed no, it. No, 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 not having that. It is safe. Maybe the little perks and all that unlocks is not appealing to some people. Uh, it's just not enough for me anymore. But each their own. If there's thirty two people and you're a squad of four, there's not a lot of people to shoot. Yeah, but there's AI everywhere, There right? is AI, yeah. But I guess old fast. Mm -hmm. I said that the AI is more annoying than anything. Like when you... It's like... what Do you know when you're trying to fight in DayZ and zombies you just could, rush you? Yeah. I can imagine it being I mean, like, like that. You could have a hot drop where like two squads die at the start. Whatever. And then... Thoughts on it. So really I thought I'd put this like... video together because I know a lot of you guys were asking. You guys can get a little bit of a footage of me playing it in real time and we can talk about it. He does not seem excited by it one <laughs> bit. Yeah, but does he even play Battlefield that often? No. The second comment, I can't explain my disappointment. Oh my God. I'll play, of course. Why wouldn't I when it comes with the Xbox Game Pass? But it could have been so much more. One of the biggest developers on the planet with the most pedigree and they come up with this game. Well, it's a bad for Pony. I think it's a great game. <laughs> Be my main for the next game. <sighs> this half assed talk of game mode will just be as dead as their attempt to make a battle royale. Oh, no. Oh, the comments. He looks so. He just doesn't look into it. He just said, I will probably play this. So, you have footage of me playing it in real time? Oh, no. Gaming's dead still. What's going to revive it? Luckily, Daisy's here, so... I'm 15th in queue now. I was kicked off. I think AI are going to really fuck me off. On Hazard Zone. I'd rather it just be squads. I am sceptical, I guess. I think there's probably not too much content to Hazard Zone. Which is the only explanation I have for the fact that there's been so little footage out about it. Because if it was full of content and actually amazing, wouldn't there be a lot of content already out there and multiple videos? There's been like one sneak peek of like edited gameplay footage. And then there's been these little videos on it. I feel like they after playing after playing like six or seven rounds of it, I think it could be boring. I feel like it's gonna be quite empty feeling. Do you not think it's gonna leave you f feeling quite empty? I mean I am as shocked as you. What's gonna be kind of the selling point is the extraction streaks and then the the perks you get from it. Nothing really else, right? Saying that, if you describe PUBG and say, oh, everybody lands on a map and it's just the last one to survive, wins the game, and then you say, what do you get for winning the game? And you go, nothing. There's not even a screen to tell you how much you've, what you've done and there's no info on it. And it was like that for years. PUBG might sound really shit. 
you know what I mean? There was not really any incentive. What was the incentive in playing PUBG? There's, there was no incentive in playing PUBG for a long time. And then they brought Ranked in and just fucking spaffed all over that. You think BSG needs a competitor? Me too. PUBG gave the adrenaline rush? Yeah, maybe this will give the adrenaline, adrenaline rush. Reef and Roy tomorrow, yeah. Reef and Roy is going to have a ball tomorrow. Still dang it. 10 hours of trial and game pass. You're getting the Game Pass version then, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Cheers, dude. There's going to be a Crass Coffee Battlefield server. Question my chat. <laughs> As a CEO of Cracked Coffee, can you answer that? Has its own back Battlefield. Cracked has its own coffee. Nice. Instead of getting data drives, you get a packet of Cracked Coffee. Nice. Got to, ex got to extract a good crema on the coffee. You know I what I'm get trying it. to say? Oh, nice. Then you pay for extraction, like the shipping. Any single fish. <laughs> yes, twenty dollars. I was second in queue. I, I need to. I need to break elite the Discord. When do When do the servers restart? In twenty minutes from now. I mean, I'm not going in now. No, you need to wait for the server restart, or you ask for. What is going on? Does Daisy work? Oh, I'm not even going in the right one. Sorry. Did anyone see that Alan Partridge Forza Horizon thing this morning? This is the best thing I've ever seen, by the way. Look, someone's recreated Cockpiss Partridge or Cockpiss Partridge, but they've recreated it in Forza. <laughs> <laughs> Has you learned about trail breaking and everything yet? Uh, I mean, he still uses one foot to. Throttle and brake, apparently. So, I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah. One foot to throttle and brake? Oh, yeah, it does. Because you can see his inputs. He thinks he'll get used to, like, you know, IRL driving that way. But as soon as you're in an IRL car, you don't even attempt it. What, do you accidentally left the brake? <laughs> Go flying through the windshield. if you. In the van, I do, yeah, because it's automatic. <laughs> What? Confirmed. Aye, aye, aye. Tommy. Maybe something's right then. In the van, it feels like I'm in the simulator because there's no clutch. I mean, it's fine I've, though. I've, I've, I've driven automatic cars only since getting the sim rig. I feel it was super sketch for left foot brake. Especially if it's a hard brake. Even just medium braking in a normal car is sketch. What the fuck, Daisy? Oh, I mean, is that a wall? Build a wall. However, do I? Where the? F Are you serious? It's not meant to happen today, is it? I knew I shouldn't have gone live today. Uh, and I've been streaming for an hour and 28 minutes and I've still not been able to get into a server. Oh, go fuck yourself, Daisy. Having a pregnant girlfriend is like looking, it's just like looking, I'm like full time carer. She can't even tie shoelaces. Kel can't do anything. It's convenient, really, because on the dog walk, she can't bend down to pick up the dog shits. So guess who has to pick up? And we have three dogs. And they shit like maniacs. Part time I repaid the favor amount she looks after you. What? But then she, she can go out and do shopping and she's absolutely fine. But then um, doing the pot, she's like, oof. Oh no, oh I'm got a, oh my belly's a bit sore. Oh yeah. Ah yeah 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 I can't do them pots yet. I'm going shopping, see you later. Wait, what? 